going on YouTube? So today, I've, I've just been out here cleaning today and this is not, uh, did not wake up this morning expecting to do YouTube. So sorry, my beard's out of whack and, and my clothes probably don't match, but hey, it is what it is, right? Anyway, so I was out here cleaning and the second clutch of the year has shed out. As I promised, I would show that confusion clutch on video as soon as they shed, and they will also be the first ones that will be going into our new baby rack. So we're gonna show you how to set that new Hatchlin rack up and going to show you these confusions. So come on, let's check them out. So this is the first time I've ever hatched confusion stuff, and the only breeder male that we had for this year was the Inchy Confusion. We'll take a look at this one first, this is also an inchy confusion. One thing you'll notice about the confusion is it's normally a darker jean. So you get that the inchy is not nearly as bright as it would be on a normal inchy. The confusion is a darkening jean. So that's why you don't really have that super bright orange. But what you do have is this crazy distorted pattern. Two things that are distinctive about most confusions is this, that crazy belly. See all that black in that belly? Man, is that crazy or what? Most confusions have that. I'll show you another one that does too. So the other thing that you can almost always tell from confusions, if you can zoom in here, you can see right on the heat pits, right below the nose, see those darkening? See how it's black? Most, most ball pythons don't have that. So I'll show you a sibling that does not have, this is an inchy yellow belly. And again, if you look at the heat pits, see that black? That's the confusion. This is the confusion. The black, how dark it is right there. Since we brought out the inchy yellow belly male, let me show you what confusion does with that. So you have inchy yellow belly next to a confusion inchy. And then you have the confusion yellow belly inchy. So again, if you look at this crazy belly pattern, the confusion gives and you get those dark heat pits. So here you can see the difference between the yellow belly version versus the non-yellow belly version. So we can see that the yellow belly obviously is a little bit lighter, but you can also see the difference in the belly there. The yellow belly here is on top. It's nice checkering down the side. So that's your difference between these two. All right, so as I promised, we hit a four gene and it looks amazing. So what happens when you add flame to the confusion? So flame, I believe is nerd's line of fire. Don't quote me on that, but it is basically a particular line of the fire gene. So what happens when you stack flame on top of the inchy yellow belly confusion? This is what you get. Just check this thing out. How amazing is that pattern? Unbelievable. Look at, I mean, just everywhere. The head is distorted. The sides are distorted. The dorsal straps distorted. Everything is just crazy on this snake. Absolutely beautiful. So, something I want to point out. Here you have the a smaller dark heat pits. You don't see as much of the, the black in these heat pits as you did with some of the other ones. But really what changes is the belly. That really dark checkerboard belly that you normally get confusion is no longer there. And I believe that's just a combination of the other genes have just wiped that out from the confusion. So even though we're given these rules about how certain genes work, 
doesn't mean that they always apply. Obviously, we know this snake is confusion just based off the pattern alone. So it's one of those things where we just kind of learn as we go. So we're giving these outlines to go by on what should happen when you mix certain genes together, but that doesn't always mean that that takes place. Just because most confusions have that crazy belly doesn't mean that they all do. I mean, obviously we know this is a confusion animal just by the way it looks. I'll backtrack a little bit here and give you the pairing. It was just simply inchy confusion to a flame yellow belly. So we hit the quad. This boy is definitely staying here and really look forward to uh, what else the confusion gene gives us this year and, and, and everybody else in the hobby. I can't wait to see what people start producing with it. So there it is. So glad that Travis got us this rack done in time and now it's time to start using them. This again is the FB5 tub from Freedom Beer. In my opinion, this is the perfect tub for baby ball pythons. It's the first time that we have loaded a baby ball python into it. You'll get that joke if you watched any of the rest of them. But we're going to put some cocoa in here, put a water bowl in here, and start loading it up. Just so you'll know, this is a two ounce deli cup and they fit perfectly in here. Now you'll notice that the cup, the cup does not sit right on the lip, but it sits down inside of it. So there's basically no way that the snake can tip this over. Now I don't know if a three or a four ounce deli cup will actually fit inside this or not, but I like the way these two ounce deli cups fit. So. Uh, to give you some size comparison, again, these just shed last night. So, you know, they're not super huge animals in there. That gives you a size reference for this size tub. So, we're going to get this guy labeled up. Stick them in there like so. And that is officially the first baby ball python in 2020 new hexen right hope y'all enjoyed that video on the confusion stuff hope you enjoyed seeing baby ball pythons in our new hatchling rack as much as as i have enjoyed it and going to continue to enjoy the incubators filling up I'm getting really excited about what we hatched this year as well as everybody else out there uh, we've had friends that have sent me some pictures and i'm like yes so glad you hit that so I'm excited for everybody else as much as we are here at Hardwired Exotics and we'll see you next week. Saturday night, riding dirt roads, gotta be careful.